Hi, I'm Randy from Atlas Gunworks. Uh, the last time we were on video together, uh, I was talking about how to size up our range belt. Well, today we're going to talk about the gear on the belt and why um, I set my belt up the way I do and why I put the gear where it is. When I'm setting up a new belt, the first thing I do is I get my holster squared away uh, so that I get a good smooth draw. It's where I want it on the belt. It's, it, I used to, um, I like to have my holster index on the pocket of my pants so that when I put the belt on, I can just draw the gun around and I know where it goes, okay? So once that's done, the next thing I start doing is laying out my magazine pouches. With the new rules, you can wear your magazines and holster wherever you want, so you can put them where, where it's comfortable for you, well, the position that makes sense for you. We're all shooting open now as far as, as the gear goes, so uh, I'm gonna lay out my belt. My first magazine pouch, I like to have the first magazine pouch off into the center of the belt, and I like to put it down on my belt in it so that I can reach down and keep a good straight arm as I'm grabbing the magazine out of the magazine pouch and then it gives me a great angle to get back up into the gun. I don't want to have to be getting my shoulder involved, grabbing my, at least my first magazine out, out of the magazine pouch, okay? Once I've got that one done, I do the same thing with the second pouch. So we'll get that out of the way. So the second pouch is pretty similar to the first pouch. It's just back a little bit further. Being an open guy, I don't go back there to that magazine pouch very often, uh, but it's, it's ready for me. The third magazine pouch on my belt is the one that I use to burning up the gun when I load. So I'll start off there with a full capacity magazine, first round goes in the chamber, charge it up, and I return it to that position. I don't have that one angled back as far. If I were to tip it back the way the other ones, it puts the magazine kind of poking at a weird angle. If I was sitting in a chair doing a table start or a chair, a chair start or something like that, it, it gets in the way, it just grabs on stuff. I like three magazine pouches. If you're shooting a, uh, you know, a lower capacity division, a 10 round division, of course you're gonna have to spread that out more. And now you got extra room. You don't have to reach around your back as far. Um, and then I run two magnets on my belt. I run the magazine, or the magnet attached to the front magazine pouch. I like that for those unloaded starts where the ammunition has to come from the belt, I put that first magazine on that magnet. So that puts that magazine pretty much in the same, good job, right? Same position, same position has my primary magazine. So I'm not trying to do something different on the, the those two or three times a year that we're doing that unloaded start from the, from the belt thing. Um, the back magazine, or the back magnet, I put my start magazine on there, so when I load and make ready, I pull the magazine from there, and, and I use that magazine, uh, or that magnet to uh, just put different range items on, you know. My timer has a little metal clip, I can stick it on the, mag on the magnet on the back there. Sometimes you have to carry things, and they're, every now and then they're magnetic. I put tools on there while I'm sighting my gun in, it keeps everything um, from getting lost on the range ground. You have to work it out a little bit to figure out what's best for you. And once you do, I hope to see you on the range. 